The November 26th meeting of the Planning and Economic Development Committee will now come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Ancello? Here. Ms. Boyce? Chairwoman DeFlorio? Here. Ms. Cayley? Here. Mr. Moyo? Here. Is there anyone signed up from public for public forum? There is not. Is there anyone present uh, who has not signed up to speak who would like to address the committee at this time? <laughs> Seeing none, uh, the next item on the agenda is uh, a presentation by Robert Franklin, Chief Financial Officer, who is here to present the 2019 proposed Monroe County budget. Where are you going to go? Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Step down so you can see the presentation. Okay. <coughs> 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 Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, in keeping with past practice, we'll keep this as brief as possible. Um, this is tonight's presentation of 2019 budget relevant to the Planning and Development Committee. Uh, regarding our Department of Planning, you, you may or may not recall that uh, appropriations for this budget year, 2018, were about $228,000 higher than they were in 2017. At that time, the planning department had uh, several positions within its economic development division that had previously been uh, vacant and therefore defunded in the budget. Uh, coming into the 2018 budget, a change was made in support of the county's economic and job development priorities. Those changes continue on into the proposed budget for 2019, uh, but some recent retirements and some other staff turnover uh, provided a opportunity for a slight reduction in appropriation. So you will see uh, comparing the 2018 to 2019 uh, budgets, appropriations are down just a little bit. That plus a modest increase in department revenues uh, saved roughly $25,000 in net county support. Not gonna spend a lot of time on this uh, particular slide, but the relative funding percentages you know, they're pretty consistent from year to year. Uh, grants and the bulk of net county support fund the Planning Services Division, revenue from Imagine Monroe, and the IDC support the Economic Development Division. Um, all but $30,000 of the Community Development Block Grant funds the Community Development Division. And finally, uh, funding from the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act uh, through Rochester Works funds our Workforce Development Division. Um, our economic development initiatives in partnership with Imagine Monroe uh, has produced some significant results for Monroe County. American Packaging is a flexible packaging manufacturer uh, servicing the food, beverage, medical, agriculture, and specialty markets throughout the United States. Uh, American Packaging is vesting, investing about $48.3 million in the construction of a 215,000 square foot state-of-the-art manufacturing facility, uh, which should impact about 170 jobs and create 70 new jobs over the next three years. Um, our own Paychex is expanding its operations in Henrietta. Uh, they're working on a $51 million investment to purchase, renovate, and equip five buildings plus a leased building. Overall, that particular project will retain about 770 jobs and create 375 new permanent jobs. And in the uh, budget week uh, for Monroe County, you've heard about the development of the former Kodak facility in Henrietta. It's now Riverwood Tech Campus. Uh, this state-of-the-art technology hub is projected to create over 120 new jobs while retaining over 100 more jobs in Monroe County. And last but certainly not least, 
uh, Amazon. So while they were looking for a, a new site for headquarters number two, uh, they found an opportunity right here in uh, Henrietta to build a new 80,000 square foot facility that is expected to generate about 25 new jobs within Monroe County. Bridging the gap between economic development and workforce development, a program called Ladders Up launched its plastics consortium in 2018. That's a unique model helping local employers in the growing plastics industry cover the cost of employee training. And in 2019, Ladders Up will launch their new HVAC and facilities maintenance consortiums. Also planned in 2019 is an expansion of the uh, successful recruiting on the road job fair series. Uh, they'll have events to be held in the four quadrants of the city of Rochester. Plus they'll continue having their anchor events in the outer ring quadrants of the county. Uh, and certainly last but not least, the planning department is further breaking down its own silos this time between workforce development and community development with their Make Monroe Home initiative. Uh, this initiative I think is pretty cool. It does more than just raise awareness uh, of or provide reports on zombie homes. It's a, a unique program that is actually supposed to do something about those zombie homes. Uh, depending on the unique circumstances of each particular situation, uh, Make Monroe Home can either fix up zombie homes it can bulldoze them and uh, build afresh. Uh, it's all depend on what meets the best needs of that neighborhood. And once the work is complete, there's a nice buying opportunity for first time home buyers and veterans. Uh, so with that, Madam Chair, that concludes the presentation. Be happy to answer questions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Franklin. Uh, we will now uh, take any questions on the budget at this time. Yes, Legislator yes. Insel. <coughs> yes, uh, through the chair. Uh, can you explain the decrease in temporary health of 10,000 uh, to nothing? Could you use the mic, Legislator, and tell oh, yes, yes. question? Thank you. And I guess if you have a page number on the budget, that might be helpful. Okay. Fair. <clears throat> Uh, through the chair, uh, can you explain the decrease in temporary help from 10,000 to zero? Uh, it's on page 442. Through you, Madam Chairwoman, the decrease is because we had a transitional year in staffing, and in order to make the transition, we had to have some temporary help put in there, and that temporary help is no longer needed, so it's been taken out. Okay, thank you. And um, uh, can you provide uh, an update on marketing efforts for the Monroe County Foreign Trade Zone? That's page 259. Through you, Madam Chair, uh, this year our staff, one of our people, went to Atlanta, Georgia to participate in an activity that was uh, educational and updated us on foreign trade zones. Uh, by doing this, uh, we've come back with, I believe at this time, several opportunities for us to, um, to position ourselves in 2019 uh, to be able to be a little bit more aggressive as, as needs be. Uh, one more. Page, um, uh, page 258, um, under Workforce Development Division, uh, Ladders Up program exceeded its goal of 45 by placing 200 participants. Uh, what's the goal for Ladders Up in terms of placements of uh, participants this year? Oh, you got it. Uh, through you, Madam Chair, uh, Ladders Up um, actually did 
did very well this year. Uh, actually, we exceeded over the 200, and we've actually gotten more into it this year. Uh, we are going to be, as uh, Mr. Franklin brought up, um, we're moving into two other uh, consortiums, which will be HVAC and will be um, property management. Those two alone will probably bring in, I would say, anywhere between 100 and 150 positions. Um, there's some, uh, there's some really good uh, companies that are coming to us at, uh, looking for more opportunities. Our goal at Ladders Up this year will be definitely to exceed the 250 threshold. Um, and we actually, to be honest with you, the way we funded uh, Ladders Up this year allows us to even go higher if we need to. Thank you. Any other questions? Yes, Legislator Moyo. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Um, through the chair, uh, drawing your attention to page 60, 260, excuse me. Um, the cost of economic development is approximately $202,000, more than the transfer from Imagine Monroe and MCIDC. Can that discrepancy be explained? The Madam Chair, the question is basically asking the cost, the legislator is asking the question, why is the cost of economic development not fully reimbursed? Correct. Through the chair. Yes. Um, Madam Chair, the cost of the economic development division, uh, at least historically in Monroe County, has never been fully reimbursed by Imagine Monroe, uh, the IDC, or the small amount of funding received by the Community Development Block Grant. Uh, basically, those uh, other entities, Imagine Monroe and the IDC, are reimbursing uh, the planning department for its specific work on initiatives uh, worked by both Monroe County and those entities. Um, if, if the desire was to have the services fully funded, that would be an entirely different conversation. Thank you. Ed, so if I can, I guess, maybe try and transmit what I just think I heard, that uh, the planning and economic development uh, department does work outside of that which is required under Imagine Monroe and Monroe uh, IDC. That, that is correct, Madam Chair. Um, this division's work is not 100 percent attributable uh, to any of those entities. Thank you. Okay, that answers my question. I appreciate that. Um, similarly, through the chair, um, there's a decrease of forty thousand uh, dollars in contributions this year, um, six hundred and one thousand dollars in twenty eighteen, five hundred sixty one thousand in twenty nineteen. Uh, can I get an explanation for that decrease of forty thousand dollars, please? Uh, Madam Chair, uh, that decrease. I'm sorry. I'm just going to clarify, Madam Chair. Specifically, the $40,000 decrease contribution from Imagine Monroe? Well, they're well, on the last page, on 260, they're put together okay. uh, through the chair. So I, I guess. No problem, Madam Chair. Um, you know, with the launch of the recent initiatives like Ladders Up, like Make Monroe Home, like Recruiting on the Road, um, our communications department had been working with planning and uh, Imagine Monroe on marketing those initiatives. Uh, as such, there was an additional charge from the communications department to planning for that work, and the intent was to have uh, Imagine Monroe reimburse planning for that specific charge. Uh, now that those programs seem to be up and running and are uh, moving forward, all that initial lift is behind us. Uh, communications is not charging, uh, I'm sorry, Imagine Monroe is not being charged that $40,000 anymore. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Any other questions? Yes, Legislator Ansel. Um, yes. What is the uh, Amazon Distribution Center set to open? Madam Chair, the Amazon Distribution Center is already open. Any further questions? Yes, Legislator Kaley. 
Um, thank you. Um, through you, Madam Chair, to the administration. Um, page 264, last year's budget book, uh, was estimated uh, giving 16 first-time home buyer purchase subsidies. And this year's book estimates we will have given out six. There's a bit of a disparity. I'm wondering, was the 16 accomplished? or is six going forward the goal? I may have read it incorrectly. Through you, Madam Chair, um, the actual for 2017 was 19. We estimated six in 2018. Now what happens in when we do these estimates is we do, we get them from uh, contracting the Housing Council who has handled that in the past and uh, at the time when the estimate was done that was the number we had and because the housing market was so hot this year um, that's really why we're not going to be any higher than six next year our estimate is uh, 16 we think it's we think that there's going to be 16 available so okay thank you and then yeah. um, through the chair In the, um, let me just look at the slide. The Make Monroe, the workforce and community development with regards to the housing. Uh, where are you? My readers are not strong enough and my eyes are just not cooperating today. I'm sorry. <laughs> are they threes? Oh, no. no. <laughs> uh, in the, going back to this itty bitty tidy slide. Um, the high school students that are being provided or being pulled for the workforce development, where are these students being pulled from? Through you, Madam Chair, to the legislator, that's a great question. Um, I don't, I, they're volunteers as far as I know. They're not being pulled into them. Uh, they're coming from the BOCES program and that uh, would take into consideration several uh, different school districts thank you I really meant where you were pulling them I from through the chair was, but this is a good joke anyway I was trying to get some in there for you you know it's just okay. so you could have something that's it thank you that's it any further <clears throat> yes legislator looking at page 263 the appropriations for supplies and materials has gone up significantly uh, can that be explained uh, through the chair Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, that increase uh, really is directly attributable to our purchase of City Place and our uh, capital project to renovate, um, moving, uh, renovating the first floor and part of the second floor to move planning and economic development downstairs. Um, that is a, a capital project. The cost of that will be charged to the capital fund. Um, however, my experience. Uh, working here at the county is that there are a number of capital projects that once they're completed someone realizes six months later uh, oops we forgot to ask for something so really this increase in budget appropriation is to account for um, those things we should have thought of thank you and just I guess one more question through the chair what is what is the timeline look like for that development of the first floor of City Place Through you, Madam Chair, uh, I believe we're moving right along and it looks like it will be probably October or very early in November next year. Thank you very much. Any further questions on the budget? Seeing none, uh, the next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes. You have the August 27th, 2018 minutes before you. They will stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. Any further matters to come before this committee? There being no other matters, the November 26, 2018 meeting of the Planning and Economic Development Committee stands adjourned. The next meeting of the Planning and Economic Development Committee will be held on Monday, December 17, 2018 at 5.15 p.m. <laughs>